crying. <laughs> no, because I'm not allowed to say goodbye to you yet. I made it! Yay! 13 hour travel done. Hey guys! So we're here! Yay! It's been hectic. I had like a little check-in orientation thing um, with the room. And look who it is! Teddy! I actually spoke to Teddy via Instagram, Instagram for like the last two weeks. He's just been amazing in making me feel like welcome. Filling her in on everything that we've been doing. Yeah. Teddy's on my floor. <laughs> Great coincidence. I went down to the kitchen, met loads of people. People are just like... Do you remember any of their names? <laughs> Maybe like one or two. But like, like my brain just isn't working you're right in now. A dream. So now we're gonna tackle the suitcase. But um no, I'm feeling just like, oh I thought it's just nice. People aren't like, oh she's new, we're not gonna speak yeah, to no, her. Yeah, we're all welcoming. Yeah. This is the nice. <laughs> I'm currently shopping for some random setup stuff. I am in Ross. I've got this to organize my cupboard. This is a dollar ninety-nine. I've got this thing to put my laundry in. And I have a bath towel and loads of Tupperware containers. Hello from Future Jade. Okay, so basically as I was editing this, I realized that it was just like the most hectic, bad vlog ever because I didn't really film much in my first week because obviously I was still meeting people, settling into hectic life. So yeah, I never even explained what I'm studying here. It will become quite apparent as you see all my vlogs, but okay, um, in brief, I'm here at Minerva. It is a very strange, weird new uni. I live in a residence hall with nearly 200 other students. I have two roommates. This year is foundation year, it's a four year course. I will pick my major at the end of this year and then study that major into getting my proper degree. This year we will study four courses. We have complex systems, which is like the study of complex social systems and all the factors that affect them. We have formal analysis, which is more like computer science, coding, mathsy logic. We have empirical analysis, which is like more like sciences. That's like kind of the way I think of it. So like thinking creatively in a scientific manner. And finally, we have multimodal communications, which is more like your arts and humanities, that method of thinking. Minerva first year is all about teaching habits of thinking through the context of different subjects. So it sounds super vague and super weird, but effectively we're being taught how to think and how to approach the world, which again sounds very vague and I will do a video explaining how we are learning this vague thing. But I kid you not, future Jade here. Hi, hello, I've been here a month and my perspective on things is already shifting. Like this place, I don't know what it does. They call it the brain surgery and the brain surgery is real. <laughs> yes, so I have classes from 9 a.m. till 12.30 every day. I have about two hours of pre-class work for every class. Instead of having homework after a class, we have pre-class work before a class so that everyone who comes to the class already has a good understanding of the stuff that we cover so that it's a lot more active in the classroom and you can like delve a lot deeper. And then we have assignments and stuff on top of that. And then we have more city-based assignments and like other things going on in the city too. Okay, I'm talking a lot, enjoy. <laughs> So I'm back. I just went for a few hours trip with these two guys. So lovely. One guy from India and one guy from Brazil. I went on this little adventure to get me all the last necessities for my room. Yeah, I feel hectic, but so far, like, ah, oh, I'm just enjoying it. Like, people are lovely. Um, I can tell it's going to be very intense in, like, everything. Like, it's going to be intense from a workload point of view and a social point of view. And then, like, wanting to go into the city and explore and then trying to look after yourself and cook and like, I can tell I'm gonna need to find a routine quickly to stay afloat I think. Yeah tomorrow I need to literally spend the whole day studying. Everyone's pretty much finished readings for next week and I've not done any and I'm behind on another assignment. I've got coding catch-up work to do because I missed a session. I've just been told I have to do another three hour like orientation thing that I missed. I need to do this intercultural assignment. I'm just very behind. So while that's stressful, I'm trying not to like overthink it. I'm trying to just enjoy being here 
Uh, but yeah, exciting. Also, I bought a fake plant. So my goal is my goal is to get a lot of house plants to jazz this room up. Here's my cute plant. It's also fake. I'm very sorry. I feel like I've let the team down, but um, it looks real, I guess, and it's low maintenance. We're getting somewhere. These are all my trousers. Here's our bathroom, so there's an ensuite between the three of us. Cute bath shower. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Toilet, bins, cute area. I like it. View. This drawer's mine, and this little area I have claimed. I'm gonna put these in the brick fridge later, but I've got all these containers. A cereal. Socks and underwear and stuff is here, and then I bought this little black organizing thing. That's my bed. Also, I jumped into city activities. I went to a creative writing workshop. Went downstairs, studied for like two hours, did the readings for the class today. I ran upstairs, put on some running clothes, went for like a 15 minute jog, ran back, ran upstairs, I had 10 minutes before class, got ready, had the shower, ran back down, had class till 12.30, went to the kitchen, attempted to socialize, had lunch, which I meal prepped in the freezer. Then I went to Minerva HQ to pick up some forms. <laughs> Then I had a structured class in the law library and then I quickly went to a cafe just to try and start the readings for tomorrow. Now I've got 10 minutes to get to the Amazon loft in time for this like games night thing I've signed up for. But I'm also using it to do my assignment, my ethnographic assignment with my intercultural partner, which is really exciting. I'm gonna be learning all about Tunisia, which is really cool. So as I'm walking right now, I'm currently doing loads of research about Tunisia. Like, tell me more about the culture so that I know what to ask. And then after I get back from games tonight, I am probably gonna have to do some of the readings for tomorrow just to keep on top of life. <laughs> the workload is insane. I'm doing work in the day, I'm doing work in the evening, I'm doing work in the early morning, which is okay. We're okay. But the community adore them. It doesn't feel cliquey and I'm just very grateful um, that the community are just so, yeah, everyone's so nice. I'm struggling to do the whole like look after yourself and do the work and socialize and cook and maintain a clean space and have everything ready to settle and it's like a lot of stuff and I think I've really been thrust into the deep end having not had the week, the first week to like settle. Also having roommates, <laughs> I literally can't really vlog much. that the global climate strike happened to be on my first week here in San Francisco. There are a lot of vegan and vegetarian and environmentally conscious people here at Minerva. So we had this big like poster making session in the mezzanine. People made vegan treats for everyone, which was so cute. I made two posters off of like recycled cardboard. And the next day we went to the climate strike. I don't know if you've ever been to one of the climate strikes, but they are incredibly empowering. It's predominantly young people. Everyone just raising their voice on this incredibly important issue, trying to increase the sense of urgency of governmental and corporate action. Guys, I'm becoming a professional protester. I would bang on my piece of cardboard in, the, in time to the chance to like keep the beat, and that would like inspire people to be louder when they were yelling, and it was great. Me and some of the others stood on this platform, so we were like above everyone else, and we were like leading this challenge. 
friends. I was like, wow, this is incredible. When do we want it? Now! Yeah, and then straight after the climate strike, I had my first ever co-curricular. So part of Minerva is that we actually engage with the city. We learn more about an aspect of the culture. So this one was about parking day. I am growing stars. So much San Francisco is obviously dense, big city, metropolitan vibes. So the whole idea of parking day is that you convert unused parking spaces into the like public attractions that people can use. They also brought in one of these top architects in San Francisco, which is very interesting. He gave a cool talk, we got to speak to him. And then we were tasked with, in one hour, to go into San Francisco, find an unused parking space, made loads of weird materials, and we had to come up with our own yeah, installation for public San Francisco use. Was just always something going on and they've got like this festival it's in the background i was just listening to nice music even though i'm tired it's a great day it's very sunny today i'm just gonna head to another cafe and continue doing work Oh my god, this was so spontaneous but so fun. So basically there's a thing called SF Art and Film and they have like free events in the city. So I went to an opera screening. Your gal's trying to get cultured. Me and a group of friends went to this stadium that just felt like the most American thing ever. I felt like I was in a film. And we watched Romeo and Juliet and it was very cute. It's freezing guys. What an idiot I was. I'm wearing sandals. I didn't bring a coat. This is Melly Ann's coat. We were all like penguins huddling. As cultured as I want to be, I think we're gonna leave with the intermission, so... <laughs> Sunday morning and I just went swimming. Last night there was like a big social event going on and I love social events, so I was really tempted to go. I'm proud of myself for doing myself a service and going to bed kind of early because for me that's just... I would always pick social events over sleep. <laughs> um, but yesterday I prioritised myself, I feel better today, I got a full eight hours of sleep and exercise this morning. <laughs> I have never slept in a library before. If I thought the workload last week was bad, welcome to this week. I've got seven chapters, as well as more readings, just for one class tomorrow. Seven chapters of a book, and all the practice exercises that go along with all the chapters. And then I've also got all the other pre-class work for the other class, and assignments. So much for getting ahead. This vlog was a mess, but next time, guys, we get to meet my roommates. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to like share this journey with you. It's a good one. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye.